Hi, I'm going to show you how to make these little cherry blossom flowers here. I've got them in two different colours there and I've got a multicoloured one as well. The kit that I'm using to make them is kit number GUXC58. I'm also using some six pound uh, crystal or white fire line and also a size 10 beading needle. Right, so to make this flower, you don't need a lot of thread to start with because you're going to make five separate little petals like this, okay, which are then joined together to make one flower. So for one petal, you don't really need much more than about 10 inches of thread, but uh, if you use a whole arm length of thread, then that should be enough to do all five of your, of your petals and to join up the flower afterwards as well, okay. So I threaded my needle and I've put on a stopper bead about probably four inches from the end. You don't need very much of a tail, just a small section really, just to get your needle on and Pull your thread through your work when you're finished. Okay, so I've got my stopper thread, stop a bead on there. Now I'm going to pick up nine beads. Now I'm going to use the white ones and the purple ones because the pink ones are really hard to see on screen. Okay, because I'm going to show you the the multicolored one, uh, and then obviously if you want to make a plain one, then you just use the same color beads for the whole petals. Okay, so I'm going to pick up nine beads here. I'm going to pick up seven white, three four, five, six, seven. Number eight is going to be a purple one and number nine is going to be a white one again. Okay, now you can make these flowers smaller or bigger by changing the number of beads that you're starting with. So you can start with seven, you can start with eleven, uh, you can start with uh, almost as many as you like as long as it's an odd number of beads. Okay, so I'm starting here with nine beads. Let's bring those down to my stop bead. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump over the first three beads here, so the white, the purple and the white, and I'm going to go back through the fourth bead along. So this is the, it's the second white after the purple. Okay, so essentially at the end here I've got a little pico of three beads there, and then I've got a row of six white beads after that. And then I'm going to peyote stitch along these six beads here. So I'm going to pick up another white bead, Okay, and I'm going to jump over the next white bead after the one my thread is coming out of, and I'm going to go through the one after that. Okay, then I'm going to pick up another white bead again, jump over a bead, go through the one after that. So that'll be the second last white bead that I have here. Okay, like so. Okay. Now, essentially what you need to do is you need to have another bead next to this last one here, okay? But of course you can't just attach one using normal peyote stitch because you haven't got another bead to go through after that. This is my stopper bead, so don't go through the, the brown bead. You need something to go through. So what you're going to do is you're going to pick up a white bead and then you're going to turn your work around the other way, okay? And you're going to go backwards through this last white bead here next to your stopper bead, okay, which is a bit strange, that's not normally how you would do peyote stitch, but in this case that's what you need to do. Okay, you'll see it now sits next to the other white bead as if you had just peyote stitched it onto there, okay. And now I'm going to carry on with my peyote stitching, just pull it nice and tight, back up towards my purple bead again. Okay, so now I'm coming out of this first white bead after my stopper bead, which is nice because I'm ready to attach my next bead with normal peyote stitching. So I'm picking up, I'm picking up a purple bead here actually. Okay, then I'm going through the next bead that's sticking out. Okay, like so. Then I'm picking up a white bead again, going through the next bead that's sticking out. Okay. Another white bead through the next white bead that's sticking out. Just the white bead, don't go through the purple bead, just the white, like that. Okay, so that's what you have at the moment. It's looking a bit messy because you're not using delicate, you're using round seed beads, but it'll all come together at the end uh, and it looks quite nice and organic at the end. Okay, so now I'm going to turn my work around again. So now I'm at the end here where I've got my purple bead. Now I'm going to add another purple bead 
in between this white bead that I'm coming out of and the purple bead that's at the end. So now I'm going to go through this purple bead. Okay. I'm going to do the same on the other side. So I've got another purple bead and I'm going through this white bead, first white bead that is sticking up. Okay, so now I've got three purple beads at the end there. Okay, then I'm carrying on with my peyote stitching. So I'm picking up a white through the next white bead. Another white through the next white bead. Okay, and I need to mirror what I did on the other side here. So now I need to pick up a purple bead. Okay, and then I'm going through the last white bead here. You see, that's my stopper bead. So that's my last white bead sticking out there. Okay, so I've got this little section here. Okay, then I'm turning it around again. Just to make it easier to go in that direction. Okay, so now I'm at the end where my stopper bead is. Now what I need to do is I need to put another bead in between these two white beads here at the end. Okay, so I'm just going to pick up a white bead. And I'm going to go back up the other white bead, not the one I'm coming out of, but the one next to it. And I'm going to go through the first purple bead along. So I'm going through two beads here. Okay. So that puts another bead at the end. Now this bead is sitting in a different direction to the other beads because this one's got the hole going that way. But that's exactly what you need to be able to join the petals together at the end. So that's perfect. Okay. Now I'm going to pick up a purple bead again. Then I'm carrying on with my peyote, so I'm going through the next white bead that's sticking out. Okay, then I'm picking up a white bead. Going through the next white bead sticking out. Okay, then I'm picking up a purple bead. And then I'm going through this purple bead that's sticking out here at the end. Okay. So now I've added another purple bead there. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go through the other two purple beads. I'm not adding anything new here. I'm just going through the other two purple beads that are already there. Okay, and then I'm doing my peyote stitch down the other side again. Starting with a purple, go through the white. Okay, then a white. Okay, and then to mirror the other side. I need a purple. Okay. Now, I'm not just going to go through the purple. I'm also going to go through these two whites here. So keep going through this row of beads until you've come out of the point bead at the bottom. So essentially, that's three beads I'm going through here. Okay. So go through those three beads. Okay. I've turned it around the other way again now. Now, I'm not adding anything here. Because I've already got my point the way that I need it. So I'm just going to go back up through the three beads on the other side. So I've just come through these here. Now I'm going up through the other side through those three beads there. Okay. Then I'm picking up a purple again. Go through this white here in the middle. Then I'm picking up a purple again. And now essentially what I need to do is I need to go through all of these purple beads here without any, adding anything else. So I'm just adding one purple into this gap here. And then I need to go through all those purples. You won't be able to do it in one go because they curve. So just however many goes you need to get through all of them. Until you come out on the other side. Okay. Now I'm adding another purple here on this side. Through the white that's sticking out in the middle. Another purple again. Okay, and I'm going to do the same as before. So I'm not adding anything into the point here. I'm just going through all four of these beads. Ignore the stopper bead. So I'm going through the four beads that are next to each other here at the point of my petal. Okay, so that's what you have at this point. If you pull it tight, you'll notice it's starting to all curve together already. So it's not quite flat anymore. Okay. Then I'm doing the same again as before. So I'm coming out of this point. I'm going to go back up through these four beads here. So I've come through these four. Now I'm going up the other side through that four there. Okay. Then I'm picking up another purple bead again. 
I'm jumping over this gap into the purple and again I'm going to go through all the purple beads without adding anything other than this one purple into the gap. Can you see now that's closed the gap there. Do the same thing on the other side so I'm going through all these purple beads here without adding anything else. Okay so I'm coming out next to the gap. Okay and then I'm picking up another purple and then again I'm going through all the beads until I'm coming out of the point like so. So that's five beads now. Okay and then when you pull these tight they're all pulled together nicely the outer beads and you have a little 3D sort of petal there. Okay, that's your petal done essentially. And then all I would do is take off the stopper bead and then I would take my thread and tie it into a double knot with the tail thread. Okay, like so. And then just take my needle and go through. Now you don't want to go through this bead that's at the point because you don't want your knot to go in there because you'll need to go through that a few times uh, to join your petals together. So take your needle up through the side of your petal like that. Okay, do the same with your tail thread and then you can cut off your threads and that's one petal there done. Looks like that one. Okay, so make five of those petals and then I'll show you how to join them together. Right, so now I've got my five petals here. On the last one, I haven't finished off my, my thread, I've kept it on there. Don't worry if you have finished it off, you can just start a new thread. Just weave it in and start uh, a new piece. Okay, so now my thread is coming out of this point bead here. Okay, and I've got a knot after that, doesn't matter, it's not going to bother you too much. Now what you need to do is you need to go through all the point beads in all of your five petals. Okay, make sure they're all facing upwards. Okay, so just pick them up one after the other go through them like so until you bring them all together nicely that's my fifth one there okay and then go through the first one again okay that's your flower joined up now you can go through a couple more times just to make sure it's nice and tight okay and it's not going to come apart and um, so I'll just go through a couple more of them here just so that I can show you how to add the little stamens in the middle you can go one by one if it's easier whatever's easier for you So go around a couple of times just to make sure that it's it's nice and snug. I'm not going to go through them so many times at the moment. This will be fine just to hold it together. Okay. And then to add the little stamens in the middle, all I did was I picked up three of the purple beads in this case. Okay. Let them fall down to my flower. Then I skipped over the last one that I added and went through the first two. Okay. And then what I did was, I didn't go through the next point, or the next petal, I skipped over it and I went to the next one after that. Because that will make sure that your little stamen is more in the middle of your flower, rather than sticking out sort of sideways. Okay, then picked up three of the little stamen, or the little purple beads again. Okay, bring them down. Again, skip over the first bead, go back through the next two. And then jump over one of your petals into the next petal after that. Okay. And then the same thing again. So just pick up three purples. Bring them down to your flower. Skip over one bead. Go back through the other two. Okay. And then skip over your next petal and go into the one after that. You're always going through the points. Of your little petals there okay and that's your little flower there finished you can just finish off your thread we through a few times and that's it and then you can use this little flower to make brooches you can put more of them together you can make uh, necklaces earrings whatever you like
You can even stack them on top of each other. So if you made a smaller one and a larger one, you can you can fit them together like so. Or you can you can stagger the, the petals a bit and then put the two that are the same size together. So there's a lot of things you can do with these little flowers. Okay. 